Hello and um, welcome to part two of the Get Help to Retrain demonstration. My name's Nick. I'm a senior policy advisor at the CBI in the education skills team. Um, I'm going to get straight to it, hand over to Michael, uh, as I imagine you've already seen our first introduction. So, Michael, uh, take it from here. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Nick. And so, as I talked about in the previous uh, video, uh, I'm going to do a demonstration of Get Help to Retrain, which is the first part of the National Retrain Scheme that we've now launched to invited eligible adults in the Liverpool City region. So, here we have uh, the, the landing page, which uh, it, it makes it clear what the service is and who it's designed for. And so, we have here our eligibility criteria. And even though this is our initial criteria, this is what we're going to look to continue to test uh, throughout the development of Get Help Retrain and the National Retrain Scheme. But for those individuals who may not meet that criteria, we've also included here uh, links to other government services that could be on offer and could provide those individuals with support. So as you can see, we have the National Career Service and Local Job Centre Plus. So when the user first uh, lands on, on the page, and they'll see this information. And very simply, to, to start uh, the journey, they'll then click on Start Now, which will take uh, them to the first page, which sets out all the different steps that are part of, of the, the journey through Get Help to Train. And this just makes it easy for people to, to navigate through. So if we look at the, the first step, which is uh, a, uh, looking at checking the person's existing skills. So here we have um, the, the first box, which will allow people to search for their jobs that they're currently doing to see what skills that they currently have. And as part of this, through our user research, it's shown that people struggle to articulate what their existing skills are and don't recognise that they are transferable. And so that is why we're looking to use uh, a profile or a description of the current job that they're looking to do. And so, hypothetically, if we were to put in a job, so if we were to say a, a sales assistant... And then if we search that through... You'll see I've, I've spelt it wrong, but that's not a problem because through the, the service, it then allows you to uh, look at closely matched uh, terms that you search for. And you'll be able to see that there we have it, sales assistant. And so then the, the user will, will click through that. And then this will set out really simply some of the skills uh, that that person might have. Um, and as you can see from, from the right-hand side there, on the basis of those skills, um, it shows uh, some related occupations that uh, match up to some of those skills. But then it also gives the person the option to explore some other jobs of what the person uh, could do using the skills that they currently have. So if we click through here, we see that um, there is again a free search option, but then also the option to look at particular categories. But uh, for, for, for the purpose of, of this demonstration, um, the person would like to see uh, what a, uh, for example, a customer service, if there's any uh, particular jobs or if, if their skills match up to that particular uh, job role. And so once we've typed in customer service, we'll see that there are a number of uh, different uh, roles that can kind of match up to that, that search. But then by scrolling through, as you can see, there's a variety of different job roles. But here we have uh, a customer service assistant, which for the purpose of this demonstration, the person might think that um, that is a role that they could use their skills and move into. And so here we have uh, a more detailed uh, job profile uh, that uh, compared to what the user initially seen. And this sets out a number of, of different areas of the particular job role. So as you can see, uh, it shows an example of uh, the, well, how much that person could potentially earn in this role and the typical hours and the working pattern that that, might, that person might expect to, to see within the role. And then if we scroll down, we can see some of the, the skills um, that that person may um, look to uh, need to either improve on or they might see that the, the skills match up with some of the skills that they currently have. And then 
again, just some more information around some of the potential day-to-day -day tasks that that person may have to do, and also the working environment. So as you can see here, in the, for the purpose of, of this job profile, you know, we could see the potentially per person working in a store or a contact, a contact center or in an office, and that they might need to wear a uniform. And so also as part of this job profile, it details uh, what a uh, career path for this in this role could look like. So as you can see here, the, if the person may look to progress to become a, a team leader or a customer service manager. Uh, but then also included within the profile, it gives uh, some information around what qualifications that person may require. And as you can see, for this particular, particular role, uh, some of uh, the roles may require uh, English and math skills at, at GCSE level. And so if that person was in need of, of some of the training to get those qualifications, at the bottom here we have uh, the ability to be able to find a training course. And so as we are starting a very small Get Helps You Train with some scaled back functionality, at this point moment, uh, the person will have to ring a uh, National Career Service Advisor to help them to uh, find and sign up to this training. And as you can see at the bottom here, we do have the number and, and the opening hours there. But this person will also uh, allow the, the user, uh, sorry, this person will pro provide support to the user if they do not have the, the digital skills to be able to, to, to use the service or they're just having a few problems and, and getting a little bit stuck, then the, the, the advisor will support the person through this process. But as we develop Get Help Tree Train, we we'll then look to um, incorporate a self-service element into finding and applying for training courses. And, and as you can see, uh, and as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, we're starting uh, with our initial offer of English and maths courses. And so as we look to test and develop uh, the, the service using that form of training, we can then explore to see what other opportunities are available in terms of the functional skills and potentially behavioural skills included within Get Help Tree Train. And so uh, once the, the, the person has either signed up to the training or may not need that training, as you can see here, it, it provides some support in terms of uh, what that person can do next to, to, on their new career path. And here we have uh, listed out uh, a number of different national and local services that can provide advice on finding your new role. So as you can see, it links to the National Career Service, uh, DWP's Find a Job Service, uh, and the uh, National Apprenticeship Service. But as I mentioned, we also want to be able to uh, link this to local initiatives. So for example, in the Liverpool City region area, we'd, lo we'd link to the Be More service, which is a way of finding apprenticeships within that local area. And so as we are developing this using an iterative uh, approach and looking to take on board the feedback of our users, the service also provides them with the opportunity to take a quick survey to tell us about their experience and also provide us with feedback to help us improve it. And as I mentioned, this is a, a basic service at the moment, but through future releases over the course of this year, we're, really, we're looking to, to build on the feedback that we have from, from our users and iterate, iterate this product by adding more functionality to, to more users. So for example, some of the future releases may include uh, postcode functionality to bring in that local element, the option for save and return, because if people are, as we, if we're looking at our user group, they may be busy and may need to come back to this. So that option of being able to save the points at which they've progressed to and come back to would be a really important and I think useful feature for, the, for our users. And then we're also looking at how we can link in with government government services uh, and build that into, into this product. So, for example, looking at the DWP's Find a Job service. And so that's a, a really quick demonstration of the Get Help Tree Train product. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, listening in today. And if you have any feedback or would like to get in contact further, then our details are on the previous uh, video. And thank you again.